Alright, so I want to do a little video on the paint weights tool. So we just have our raptor in here from class, just have uh, two different poses, just getting a little bit of movement here. Just want to do a little bit of a review of the paint weights tool and how to use it. Again, by default, the paint weights tool will be uh, will have this paint blend weights option turned on. Uh, when that's turned on, if you use the paint weights tool, it's only going to be doing the blending, which is really not great right we want to use the blending but we also want to have the opportunity to add weight we want to have the opportunity to also subtract weight so I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm clicking on the paint weights button uh, you can see as I move on to my mesh here I actually have a radius where I can see I have a brush um, if I were to go down and simply just click with my left mouse button you can see it's gonna add weight if I hold alt and click down with my left mouse button it's gonna subtract weight if we want to use this paint blend weights option, which is very beneficial, um, I simply hold shift and you can see right now I'm just kind of clicking and I'm tapping on my mouse and it's simply kind of blending all of that geometry for me, which is really, really essential when you're working with high density models like we're working with here. Again, this is not super high poly, but it's definitely uh, a model that will certainly benefit with use of the paint weights tool. Now, if you want to change the radius of this brush here, uh, the hotkeys is holding down on control and shift and then clicking down with your left mouse button and simply moving your mouse up and down. You can see the radius is changing here. This is really beneficial if I'm doing things like toes or fingers of a character, uh, like small digits, um, even if I'm doing you know, areas around the jaw potentially, it's nice to basically go in and just simply change the radius. If I want to change the overall strength of this brush here, again I like to use a rather low strength for the most part. However, there are certain areas where you might want to use a higher strength. Uh, I can simply hold down Control and Alt, and then I'm going to click down, or sorry, not Control and Alt, sorry about that, uh, Shift and Alt and then I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button and simply move it up and down. You can see that strength parameter simply shifting around there. Uh, if you forget those hotkeys, you can also click on the little settings button just to the right of the paint weights button, uh, bottom right hand corner. And you can simply see I can click on that. Let me just move this over. And my painter options comes up here. Uh, inside here I can go in and, and change minimum strength, mac maximum strength. Uh, minimum size, maximum size, basically what we were doing with our hotkeys. Uh, you can also go in here, there's a lot of additional settings. You can get into like, you know, nitty gritty of like the fall off of the brushes, which I, I don't really go in and do that, but you can do that. Uh, and there's also options here if you want to use your stylus. Um, I personally don't use my stylus, I just like to use the mouse, but some people like to work almost exclusively with a stylus. So if you're one of those people, these options are there for you.